Welcome back to another player review on the channel and today we are reviewing this Rodri team of the season card. Now lads, first of all I'm going to say that was a bloody ball ache. The objectives look like the usual type but for whatever reason, because EA put in them long shot goals, everyone wouldn't quit and yeah it was a ball ache. It took me a whopping three hours to just do that. It was horrendous, probably the worst objective I've ever done but definitely not the worst objective card I've ever got. It's a very good card, 91 rated CDM from Man City that is Spanish. Brilliant start, 6 foot 3, medium high, brilliant for a CDM. 3 star skill moves suck, but a 4 star weak foot's nice for a CDM. Uh, In-game stats, good pace with a shadow uh, on 9 chem, puts him up to 89 with around 96, 97 defending. Shooting's actually alright for a CDM. Passing's actually fantastic aside from curve. Dribbling's good, agility and balance not great, but it's not terrible for a CDM. Great composure, actual dribbling needs a bit of improvement. Defending's fantastic, uh, stamina's great, great physicals all around, has no traits, but yeah, a good card all around, and yeah, we'll get into a game with him, we'll see how he plays. Rodri with his first touch on the ball, that's a nice run there. Good dribbling around Adama, nice pass. Rodri. His dribbling does feel a bit clunky. An engine chem style for a box to box might be the one, but um, yeah, so far, not too bad. Oh, nice dribbling. He's coming in to join the attack here. Gets the ball. I think that's why I'm never going to play him in an attacking area, to be honest. Rodri. It's a good ball through. He's joining in the attack again. Rodri. Oh, wasn't what the hell. Right, that's nice positioning. Bring forward to join in the attack to make another option. That's nice. Right, Rodri. Right, that's nice dribble in there. Hit the bar, Rodri! And it's a goal on his debut for Rodri. It's a good header. Uses his height to an advantage. Rodri. It's a brilliant long ball from Rodri there. Picks out Correa brilliantly. He's going to make a run. He's got an assist on his debut and a goal. Brilliant scenes. That was a good tackle there from Rodri, actually. He sort of went into that centre-back position for a minute, which was quite interesting. Um, yeah, that was pretty interesting. And we'll see if he can make the long pass again. A bit too much power on it that time, but again... Great dribbling from Rodri. He's going to play it short. He's making the run. Asks for the ball. Shoots. Terrible effort there. Oh, brilliant stuff from Rodri there. Good stuff from Rodri here coming forward. Rodri here. Rodri's got a brace on his debut. You know what? He's actually really good. Review. And um yeah, you know what? Two goals and an assist on his debut. I was gonna play him CDM, but I thought with the stats, it's a bit of a waste and the attacking things he does have, so let's just play him as a box to box. Now with a shadow. He actually felt like he was more of an attacking player than defensive, in all honesty. You saw the amount of defensive chances I showed. There was barely any, and uh, after that got second goal, he really didn't do much at all, but neither did any. T he was just passing it around. It wasn't very good at all. Um, but yeah, basically, though, what I'm trying to say is, don't be fooled by these stats. I think I'd put an engine on him and play him as a box-to-box. -box. I am not going to plan... I was actually pl planning at one point to play him centre-back, but I thought, you know what? The two goals he scored, obviously the miss early on was terrible, but apart from that, if you put like an engine, maybe even a hunter if you want to, or like a finisher or something, I think he could play in the attacking areas, to be honest. Now, obviously defensively he is very solid, but he can probably play in a lot more positions than I originally thought. And um, yeah, so the final thoughts on my cards, lads, he's very good. Uh, I'd either go with an engine or shadow. Uh, I'd definitely boost his pace, try boost his dribbling if possible. 
or if not, just try and get like max pace and something that's relevant to boosting, depending on what position you're playing him in. But yeah, uh, yeah, it's a pretty good card for free. And yeah, so lads, overall, I give this card a solid nine out of ten, to be honest. And yeah, see you in the next one.